Hello everybody, this is Di Antinatalist and um, I wanna show you my newest little rescue. And I got her yesterday and um, she's eight years old and makes her for a really good birthday present. And she's got an interesting story. So she came from um, a puppy mill in the Midwest in Missouri. And when I um, got, got her at the shelter, she smelled so bad. Like, I have never smelled a dog so covered in urine. And I don't know, you know, what story was true or what, but I do know that, you know, puppy mills, they don't take care of their dogs. And usually they're on a wire um, crate and they pee and poop um, through the crate. But I'm not so sure about this one. Um, she could have been, you know, inside of a trailer type situation where there's just maybe newspapers on the ground or whatever. But she was just absolutely filthy. I mean, I just hated like even touching her, but they, they, they brought her out and I was told that the shelter does a lot of rescue from puppy mills. So she came out and into the meet and greet room and she just kind of walked around like a little hamster. And she walked in circles and very, very low to the ground, which, you know, puppy mill dogs, they usually have not even felt grass or snow on their feet. So when I picked her up, it was nothing but like, oh God, ammonia. And it was just so bad. And I had, you know, a, a couple of hours before I could really, um, to take her home and fix her up and so got some vinegar and poured it um, in a, the sink of the hotel and um, gave her a really good bath with the vinegar to neutralize the urine and then I gave her some um, a bath with the hotel let me show you <laughs> Hermes um, it's very very strong Flavor, um, smell, very strong odor, and it'll take away any kind of odor. It's very strong in and of itself. But anyway, let me tell you about her. So she's eight years old, and her name was Jersey in the, um, you know, in the, the puppy mill. And so when the rescue got her, they had to pull all of her teeth because little dogs, you know, they have gum disease and rotting teeth, and puppy mills don't hire um, veterinary dentists. So, um, um, they, you know, they, they do the minimum. They give, um, shots, you know, vaccines, rabies, bordetella, and distemper, but they don't do anything more. And, um, so she had many, many litters and you can tell by the, um, well, the shape of her nipples. Sometimes they hang down um, and she has some like blackheads, which I've also seen with, um, dogs have had repeated litters, but she's a gorgeous color, isn't she? She's about four pounds and, um, she's a very, very rich, look at this rich, rich brown, like a golden, um, red color. Now she's very, very interesting because when you put her down, she, um, hunkers close to the ground and she'll turn in circles and she has not made a peep. I have not heard one little sound. So I guess one of these days I'll be stepping on her feet or something gets caught in a door and I'll hear some kind of noise, but she's quiet. She's like, she's like quiet as a mouse. And um, so when I took her back to the hotel, I cut all of these knots and mats from her hair and her neck, uh, her body, her legs. And so, uh, yeah, it was quite a, quite, you know, a daunting task, but she smells great now. 
She is not housebroken, so I did buy her some diapers. And interestingly, um, she did sleep on the bed last night. And then when I put her into the, the bathroom, it's pretty interesting. She actually slept on a, her pee pad. So she, and um, I was trying to put the pee pad down so she could get acquainted with, you know, using it. <laughs> but um, puppy mill dogs, they don't have a way to relieve themselves outside of their confinement. And um, so uh, often when they are rescued, they never learn, you know, to be housebroken. And so this can be a real challenge for people with larger dogs. Um, smaller dogs are easier to, to manage or to put a diaper on or a belly band. Um, but isn't she a sweetheart? So I have named her Aspen and, um, she's, I mean, she's probably not even four pounds, but, um, let me show you how she walks on the ground. Now she's very, very happy after I gave her a bath. And um, so um, she's just a really, really good lap dog. Some, something to, you know, to really um, carry around and she loves attention. Um, but she, you know, she's a very odd, she's an oddball. <laughs> and um, she's very gentle and very sweet, which is the kind of dog I like. And being older, you know, she's, um, her personality is already set and, um, um, you know, she won't be any trouble at all. Um, she, she's eaten really, really well. Um, her environment is so different now. Like in a puppy mill, there's lots of noise, lots of cage banging, um, um, barking <laughs> all the time. And she had multiple litters, um, in order to, you know, um, bring an income to her, uh, to the kennel that, um, you know, used her for breeding. But anyway, any kind of breeding is wrong. Um, somebody who deliberately breeds, you know, is very, very careless. Placing anybody into existence is careless. And she's had many, many years of suffering, like before I came along and, um, you know, um, to the extent of that, I don't know, but you know, her, her persona is somewhat shaped by that suffering and, um, we'll, we'll never know what truly happened in her life, but, um, she's got a good home now and I'll probably take her with me when I fly because, um, yeah, she, she's really, really easy to keep and, um, you know, extremely quiet, <laughs> which is very, very odd. She's over there eating right now. Yeah, so anyway, did I say that she's a Yorkie? So she's a Yorkie Terrier, and she is a sweetheart. I've actually wanted a York Yorkshire, an older Yorkshire, and it was very interesting because I just walked into a shelter that I have supported, and um, and I said, do you have any anything that's like older, um, calm, you know, a small, very small. And he says, yeah, I have one just, you know, and they said her, uh, I guess a sibling of hers or another rescue from the same uh, kennel had just been adopted. So they brought her out and, and she didn't look good. I mean, I really had to cut a lot of knots out. I think the shelter had groomed her somewhat um, before I came along, <laughs> but it, I mean, covered in urine. And it's so easily, the smell is so easily taken out with vinegar. So just keep that in mind. Even if your dog pees on your shoes or your pants or, you know, something in, in your house, your bed even, you can take that smell out with vinegar. I hate smells. I'm like really, really sensitive to like smells. But anyway, I just wanted to, uh, you know, let me show you guys again. Come here, honey. Yeah, she's not, she's not used to being held. I mean, she's kind of like a, a little bit fearful when I try to like pick her up because she's, she's not used to being 
you know, treated like a pet. She was used as a commodity to breed. Wasn't that good? You just had your dinner or your breakfast or your lunch. Yeah. Um, but she's a sweetheart.